Shamayfriendia and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into a building in Planet Zoo and today I'm going to be doing a flamingo habitat and I think this is going to be the last habitat for this zoo. So to celebrate it being the last habitat I wanted to do something with one of my favourite colours which is obviously pink. <laughs> and I wanted to do like a, a pink paradise for the pink flamingos. I thought that would be really fun. And I've made the habitat like super big because the flamingos are kind of like the peafowl. They breed like bunnies. <laughs> it ends up being like hundreds of them. As soon as you press play, it's like, oh wow, there's just flamingos everywhere. So I wanted to make sure that they had lots of space to reproduce, I guess. <laughs> and I really liked this area here. The lily pads are actually there already on the blank terraformed map. The link to the map is always in the description as well. And I actually chose this map because it was already pre-terraformed. Like I downloaded it off the workshop because I didn't want a flat square. And there's recently been an announcement for an update. On the 4th of October, there should be an update coming out for Planet Zoo to do with the terraforming. Mapping tools. Custom height maps are making their way to Planet Zoo. These will allow you to get creative with your map terrain via uploading image files. And I'm laughing because the screenshot <laughs> that's on this news article on the Planet Zoo website. I'll put the screenshot on. There's something in the corner. North America Animal Pack. <laughs> The trailer's probably out by the time this video's coming out, but I just had to talk about that. But for the flamingos, I was like working around things. We'll get to like actually like building in the habitat soon. Because I sort of had in the back of my head that maybe this would be the last speed build video anyway for the zoo. I wanted to complete the rides. I finally completed the safari. That was the abandoned African village in the Icards, but I hadn't quite finished off the boat ride. And because this river is so large, I wanted to continue the river boat ride along this really large river. And I think it might be nice to have a ride on the river boat ride at the end of this video as well. Uh, just to have a look at all of the different habitats that the riverboat ride shows as well as like the flamingo habitat of course and we haven't actually had a ride on the boat ride yet so it might be nice to have an actual go at the boat ride and I also wanted to build another bridge over the river too so even if you don't go on the riverboat ride you can still look over the bridge to see the animals in the water and I've also put a vista point I think on this bridge to indicate like guests can stop and look at certain habitats from the bridge and it'll also encourage guests to actually walk over the bridge too <laughs> which will be helpful and now we've sorted out pretty much uh like the rest of the zoo and um, we finished off the ride i wanted to actually get into decorating the flamingo habitat now it was kind of hard to get into decorating more i guess because it was like I, I spent hours and hours that week i had off trying to finish off the zoo and i actually came back to this one and finished this one off this week or technically last week for you this week for me i wanted like continue the rocks from the back of the African elephant habitat and kind of decorate that side of the flamingo habitat too just to tie everything in and it's a lot easier just clicking and dragging and duplicating the group of objects anyway 
And I'm actually looking forward to 1.7 update as well because we'll have a new placement tool for randomizing objects too. So the way that I'm placing the rocks now where I'm using the advanced move tool and I'm rotating it here, there and everywhere and it's taken me a long time to do, the next update will actually make my job a lot easier when placing rocks and trees because there'll be like an auto randomized tool which will rotate the objects randomly. I'm really looking forward to that. Anything to make like building quicker. And on this side by the elephant school building that I built last week, I wanted to kind of blend this side in a little bit so it didn't look like building and just terrain. I wanted to add some more rocks into this area too. Kind of like a rocky shore. Similar to how I did the penguin habitat as well. I'm really looking forward to changing up the style a lot with these things. I don't know whether we have an American style. <gasps> what style building should we do for the North America pack? Definitely not classic, that's more like British. Maybe New World? That might be fun. <laughs> I'm like already thinking about that. I need to finish this soup off first. I was having a chat with my mom and I was like, what? do I do with flamingos? I love them, they're pink, they're great, but what do I do with them? <laughs> and uh, my mum actually said like, if you think about like beach parties, like fancy dress, beach things, there's usually like flamingo glasses or something flamingo decorations wise. I'm so glad I get to bounce some ideas off my mum and my mum just gives me some random information that I wouldn't have thought of because I'm not a party person. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of like flamingos with parties because I don't go to a lot of parties. So I thought why not? Let's make some beach huts for the shelter and I'm using the weathered wood pieces again but they're not going to be in brown. I'm not using the same colour scheme that I used everywhere else. I am breaking my rule right at the end <laughs> and I'm doing pink and purple beach huts because I wanted this to be like a pink paradise and I wanted to give the flamingos a lot of space so I wanted to make the beach hut open not like the beach huts that I have in the background and the ones in the background of the video they are the rainbow beach huts that I built for the seals? That was a while ago. And that was in the aquatic zoo, the underwater zoo. Yeah, so if you like the look of those beach huts, I have done a, a speed build video for them. Um, my underwater zoo was so fun. It was like the first zoo I actually ever built properly. I used a lot of blueprints in the past, so the underwater zoo was a big change for me to do something like in that style. The roof, I wanted to use like the straw to make it more like tropical, beachy and obviously to keep in with the like Africa pack style. The roof was really tricky, I ended up having to like split it from the group to move it using the advanced move tool. That is just one of the tricks that I love using with roofs. Sometimes they just don't want to like line up to something that's like off the grid like a non-grid prop sometimes the grid props do not like lining those up so if you split them from the group and move them using the advanced move tool it's a lot easier to line everything up nicely i wanted it be it to be like a kind of dusky pink like it's sort of sun bleached as well like it used to be a really vibrant pink color but because it's been on the beach and like the salt from the water and obviously the sun has bleached out the colours a little bit so they're dusky and more pastely. <laughs> I actually couldn't duplicate the whole building, make more than one beach hut because obviously we need more than one beach hut. So instead what I did was duplicated the main like walls of the building and I lined up the beams, uh, the support beams holding the roof next to each other to make sure everything was in line and then the roof was easy enough to duplicate over then and line up 
nicely with each other. I wanted a little bit of a variation in the beach hats. The two outside ones were mainly pink and then the middle one I swapped the colours around then so the main building was purple and then the accent colour then was pink. And the beach hats on the one side of the habitat by the lily pads wasn't quite enough hard shelter for the flamingos and I wanted to make sure I had plenty of hard shelter uh, so I put some on the other side and I also wanted to make like a pier for this part of the beach too something that the riverboat ride can look at and it be a little bit more interesting something over the water Obviously I needed to make the track go around the pier itself, it couldn't go underneath. But what I was hoping for with this is the flamingos then being able to go over this pier and stand like really close to the riverboat ride, I thought that'd be really fun. And can you imagine the pictures you could take if something like this was real, if you were a guest in this zoo? Can you imagine the pictures you could take on that riverboat ride? Oh, that would be lovely. Although I think, coming down to it now, I think that pier is from the aquatic pack. Shit! I, I get so carried away with doing decorations and stuff, I completely forgot. I think that pier is from the aquatic pack. Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. Of course, what is a beach without beach towels and beach lounging chairs? <laughs> I just duplicated the beach setup that I had for the penguin habitat. That video did really well. Like, really, really well for me. The penguin beach video. That's probably the most popular one from this whole series. I never, like, ever predict what I'm how these views are gonna go sometimes I'm like oh I'm really happy with this and it's not so clicked on doesn't mean that I'm not proud of the build and then other times I'm like eh. <laughs> and that they are the ones that just end up going like ridiculous amounts of views to them <laughs> and then I can't quite look at it anymore because it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> I'm quite happy with my little community that we have here <laughs> Uh, with people who come in and out and I really appreciate the people who come back and comment throughout all of these videos. There's a, a few commenters who I recognise the names of the commenters and I'm like, oh, hello! I do appreciate it having like the little comments here, there and everywhere. But I wanted to recolour this beach to be pink and purple to go with like the pink paradise theme. The rest of the like beach part of this side of the habitats I kept to the zoo's colour scheme which was the blues and beiges but for the flamingos they're having a big pink paradise. Because there's a viewing area on this side I thought it was just a little too plain. The lilies and everything are, lily pads are beautiful on this area and obviously you can see the side of the elephant school as well. But I just thought this area was too plain, especially with the beach huts. Because beach huts are there for you to get changed into your beach way, like swim way. So it makes sense for there to be like a, a beach on this side as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, this is the last build of the zoo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sad and relieved at the same time. Uh, I'm sad because I've really enjoyed building with the Africa pack items. I think I've used pretty much every single item that came with the pack. This is the longest speed build series and the largest zoo I've ever built. I might put some like stats into this, how many different species we have. This is the 19th video anyway for this series so there's a lot it took a really long time to build but yeah we're doing a little bit of a tour around the zoo at the moment with the riverboat ride and we get to see how the riverboat ride goes around quite a lot of the zoo and we've had a ride on the safari ride as well the 4x4 adventure tour so if I don't have a full tour of the zoo, that's not really that big of a deal. I've not really missed much. But yeah, let me know what 
the habitat was your favorite and what animal was your favorite in this whole African grassland zoo. We don't have a name for this zoo. It is Nodfa Hayawan, which means animal sanctuary. Hayawan is animal in Arabic and Nodfa is sanctuary in Welsh. So we, we put the Arabic language from some of the African countries and Welsh from me. So <laughs> Yeah, this might be the end of the Africa Zoo, so uh, thank you so much for watching maybe just this video or watching a few or all of the videos in this whole speed build series. Thank you so much for watching, whether you've watched 10 minutes or the hours that I've created these videos with. Wow, thank you anyway, and I will definitely be doing videos for the North America Animal Pack. <laughs> and hopefully they'll be a little spooky as well because it's October and I absolutely love Halloween. So let me know if you're interested and excited to see all of that. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Mondays and Saturdays are for Life is Strange True Colours at the moment and Wednesdays are for Planet Zoo Speed Builds. And that's pretty much it. I, I kind of don't want to even want to end because that is the end of this zoo really. I'm not sure whether I'm going to have enough time to do it at all like I said so I don't want this to end. But it has to. All good things come to an end. Is that a saying? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.